All right. Uh, let's see. So, what are we gonna want to complete? Yeah, I don't know. That's that's the question. Um, alternatively, it's frozen on us. Okay, there, there's. <laughs> I okay. think it's because you're sort of hovering over your key tabs. So we've got a we've got a new task for Miri, right? Uh yes. Uh, let's see. So this is the Oh, here it is. Yeah. Yeah. Handful of pages from the highly magic soaked familiars of Shadu. And then there's also Hardgraft's Soft Will, which is the mercenary company thing, but we can't do that yet. Well, you probably want to explore more of the elf region before you yeah. get to that one. Yeah. Um, let's see, doing another dungeon would be nice, especially because I think we're totally out of money. Yeah, yeah we're almost probably... completely out. Uh, I guess the last thing to check would be personal bonds. Oh! New patch dropped. Okay. Oh, so I see a one, two, three. Yeah, I want to see if I can quickly... Take a look at what uh, changes have made have been made. I think that I think it's this one. Uh, let's see. So that's updates. Oh, they're just talking about characters. Update number two. Here we go. Yeah, so well, we're not going to be getting Esther. Higher difficulty levels, changeable difficulty levels for battles. More tool tips, highlights, indicators make things more readable. Personal bond menu will have the bond level directly next to the character. Uh, new and or unread codex entries will be marked with an icon. That's good. Okay, because that way I'll know, uh, well, hmm. by red, do they mean you've already clicked on them? Or by red, I don't do they know. mean you've scrolled all the way to the bottom? I don't know. Also, restart button will be added to the battle screen. So if we need to redo restart, a battle, yeah. that'll be super handy. Okay, so we could go further into winter, but eh. She's ready to level up, actually. Ooh, I actually wouldn't mind getting Unbound Fury. Enrage no longer costs an activation. Uh-huh. Means I'll actually use it more often, probably. Um, what else does she get? Actually, usually. What about some of your other party members um, that typically travel with you? Because I know Signy, yeah, it would be great to level so, her. He's not quite there. He's not, but uh, I would like to level Theo up. Mm -hmm. Um, but after battle. So we'll hang out with Signy. Here, let's hang out with anybody that can rank up from our general battle group. Which looks to only be Signy. And I should probably, uh, spend You've some time with- You've gotten zero with him? Yeah, we should spend a little bit of time with Diego. Mm hmm Just so we can get RP for just being around him. Griffith is good. Oh, because if you haven't even unlocked the, like, 0%, then... I won't passively gain anything. Okay, ah. unfortunately, Diego is off. What about Signy? Uh... Scroll up? Yeah, so Signy, day off it's in. day off. Okay, so she'll be available tomorrow. Diego will be off on Trolls Day. Well, then so who we else gotta, can we talk with? We gotta kill some time. Um... Well, okay. Well, what about Gren or... We could spend some time with the vampire, Theo. Oh, let's see if Baz and Lilka are, are available nah, now. Nah, looks like they don't have hearts next to them. It's their day off, but they'll be available tomorrow. I guess, yeah, we could... Let's let's go introduce ourselves to... Well, not introduce ourselves to Gren, but at least get acquainted with him. Mm -hmm. I was kind of ignoring him because I'm probably never going to use him. But not the end of the world. I didn't even know now, if I've done anything. Now, why do anything bounty yet. hunters tend to have Australian accents? Evening. No idea. Let's see. Let's spend time with Gren. I have no can, idea. Can if, you do Australian? I have no idea. Bloody hell! It's like all oh, bloody hell, kind of like. I'm not. I'm not expecting this to go well, or any any of anything to go well. Hi. Hey. Boss. Huh? Something you need? I just thought that maybe we should get to know each other, you know, if we work together. Well, ain't you cute, boss. Scram. Respectfully, buzz off. Ah, oh, you're doing it pretty well. Uh, you can do better than that. <laughs> he likes that. Huh. No Is that a challenge? Thanks, but uh, no thanks. You still here? I'm a persistent guy. Nope, he didn't like that. Uh-huh. Oh, bloody hell. Look, 
We're business partners, yeah? I see what you're trying to do here, but let's just leave it at that. Be a sport and go away. Okay, so I gotta redo that one. That was quick, though. Well, it's because he's just like, no way, Jose. I'm not spending time with you. Yeah. So he didn't like that you were being persistent. But he did like the fact that we said you can do better than that. Well, it's me. It means that you're almost like giving him the go ahead to insult you more, or something. Hi, boss. Scram. Now go. Okay. Should uh, we be hard with him? Let's let's try it. Watch your tone. Uh, nope. Oh, bloody hell. So, I guess yes. Just a yes. That feels like such the such a weird like cop-out-ish answer. It's odd. I'm fine with it, but it's just odd. Evening. Oh, bloody hell. I don't know. Uh personal dialogue options have always been something uh, that I've never been good at. And imagine if you only go through things Hi, once. Boss. Yeah. And you're stuck with it. Square. Yeah, imagine if it forced us to go with uh no, with okay. whatever option we pick. Yes. Sure. Okay. Oh bloody hell. And it's the same thing. What? <laughs> so it's just like maybe he just likes straightforwardness. I I guess Ish. so. Oh, we get this, which is... Oh, yeah, I guess this is the one thing um, I haven't looked at for Gren. Uh, it's... Oh, I see kind of why you'd want to level Gren up. I don't think I'd do it, but uh, you can get, like, a serious initiative boost. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to hang out with Signe. Okay, and I think that makes us acquaintances with a decent amount of people. Okay, uh, Signy it is. The duckling approaches. The duckling seeks companionship. Spend time. A welcome change of pace. Haha, <laughs> she's practicing. Quite re reckless today, I see. Restless? Oh, restless, sorry. <laughs> A Kelra cannot fight with blunted claws, yes? Good point. And what about the totem? <sighs> no trace. Shadows and uncertainties. Eh, uh, darn it. I wake. I voyage. I hunt. I call out to the wild, yet the wild never answers. No beast. The hunt goes on, like a relentless shark let loose upon its bloodied prey. But I endure. I have to endure. For as long as it takes. You're kind of losing the gutturalness, I'm noticing. I guess we haven't talked to her in a while. What, what kind of... How gutter... Okay. It was more guttural for uh, earlier the episodes. The hunt goes on. Yeah, like, that, that was like definitely... That, that was definitely closer. Part of it is, I do have a sore throat, remember? So... If I'm Use a little... it to your advantage. Oh, but that, that makes the tonsils worse. Or knocks it loose. Uh, Is that why you're so agitated today? Such pain upon the soul. Yes. Oh, wait, wait, she says the same thing. Never mind. I don't have to voice act that. Okay, there must be some way we could help you, or maybe there's something you're missing, or perhaps that is a test. I think it's the last one. I think it's the last one, too, because if you're offering her help, she might be like, no, this is something yeah, I'm supposed a pride to do thing. alone. And this is kind of against her pride, whereas this plays it, plays it up. Yep. Yep, she likes that. A test of resolve. A comforting thought, even if somewhat trying. I may have no answers, but I shall not stop looking. Remember, if, uh, if you need help... I shall seek out the duckling, yes. Talk to you later. Good, I'll uh, leave you to your training then. I am grateful. And slash 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 slash. We are not dissimilar. We were both presented with a challenge without end or belief. 
the duckling feigns, but sees, understands. How does the duckling manage to stay so sure, even when he knows the destination is not getting closer? So there's the, you admit that you really don't know, but you're okay, or my friends help me, or I just do. Huh? I have no idea. Well, do you think the friends helping you is like gonna introduce the thought of friendship? Or? Sure, let's try it. Nope. Oh, she only marginally helps that. Oh, likes that, blah. Uh, let's see. My friends helped me. Looking back, I would have failed a long time ago if it wasn't for my friends and family. It may not always go swimmingly, but hey, that doesn't matter. We're there for each other. I'm not alone, and neither are you, Signy. Hmm. Just so. Yes, I am not alone. The duckling's words bring comfort. My thanks. And, nope. No loading screen. She still seemed to like that, though. She did. But, but not, not enough. Not enough. You gotta like it more. I'm gonna use my time travel until everyone loves me. Shaking in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't that been used in a number of various romance comedies? The, approaches. the whole... I mean, Groundhog's Day Ground was kind of like that. Well, yeah, because he met that girl in... Okay. Uh, I wish there was kind of like a fast forward button. Okay, uh, it's a test. Talk to you later. Okay, so let's do. I just do? Oh, sure. Uh, nope, she didn't like she it. She doesn't like that. Call it instinct or whatever, but it hasn't failed me yet. If I can overcome hardship, so can you. Just so. I hope the duckling is right. So oh. that just sort of makes her demor demoralized. Yeah. Okay, so I don't. You really don't know. It, I suppose that's sort of comforting to her because it means that she's not wrong for not knowing what to do either. Yeah, it's true. Hmm? What? Nose is bleeding, yeah. Oh no! The approaches. That's okay. Uh, let's just get through this real quick, sort of. There we go. I I wonder uh, if we'll ever see more Kelra. Such pain upon the soul. I don't know. Talk to you later. It'd be uh kind of hilariously weird if like every time we looped through there was like a way to like add it together, kind of like the camp dialogue. Mm. Eh, whatever. Okay. Uh, I don't. I don't know what the future will bring, nor when or whether it will get any better. All I can do is hope. But what would breaking down accomplish? What does stopping do for anybody? I can't see the end, and it's scary. That's certainly true. But at this point, I also can't see the beginning. Might as well keep moving on, right? Hmm. Just so. Yes, the duckling is right. I am grateful. I shall never forget this. There we go. Okay. So we've got her. Yep, to up to 84. So she is a friend. Yes. And let's go. Oh, I didn't realize that, that was actually labeled. Let's go to Signy. Okay, so what does she have here that I can get rid of? Savage win. No, we need that. Pounce. No, we probably need that. We want that. Yeah, the Unbound Fury is new. Uh, let's see. If I get rid of... Let's get rid of alertness and damage. But that's or, the dodge. There we go. Uh, I mean, I have to get rid of something. I guess we could get rid of her max HP. Oh, wait. Doesn't... Oh, Anim touched is, is dodge, dodge and, and initiative, initiative, but it's two points. Well, wouldn't that be better to... Oh. Mm -hmm. We want the skill morph. So, um, thing is, Unbound Fury... I'd like to get Hearthfire too, but we're gonna have to wait on that one. If her weapon gives her extra duration on her moves, Hearthfire does too. Like we could get her permanently enraged. 
uh, for extra bonus damage and whatnot. Okay, so last was going to hang out with Diego, which I'm not. I'm not sure about my. Uh, your your accent for him. Yeah, I mean, I'm never sure about my accents. Period. He's. He's probably down in the dungeon. Yeah. Oh no, he's right there. He's right there. He just what? blends in. Oh, there he is. Hello. In Armalis, we like to know our hosts better over a glass of something invigorating. What do you say? Shall we hit the inn? Uh, spend time. Sweet. Good call, friend. But just in case, you're the one fil fitting the bill, right? Right? <laughs> okay, we get it. Derp. Ha! Ah, that hits the spot. When was the last time I visited an inn like this? <gasps> yesterday. I meant the ambiance in general. Also yesterday. Ah. God damn it. Kids get so annoying these days, don't they? So mouthy and self-righteous. What's this? Oh my, did the bill just magically get longer? <laughs> <laughs> Would you look at that? So many extra zeros in the mandatory tip column. Oh no, you didn't, you little fu- <clears throat> Funny person. What a humorous predicament. Oh. I swear that kid's going to be the end of me. Or rather, one of the many ends of me. You look like you're about to ask me something. Eh. Yeah, kinda. You know, you never told me exactly what exactly made you join us. Oh, didn't I? Uh, it was because he couldn't foot the bill of this in in the first place and was being hunted down by yeah. Bounty Hunter. The way I remember it, you're desperate, but why? So, you're not buying the story about me being attracted to your glorious achievements? Nah. No. I wasn't asking you, damn it. Stop eavesdropping. Let me answer that question with another question. Why do you think I joined you? Money. Uh. <laughs> My good looks. <laughs> no. Oh, no. This is the kind of situation the term brain fart was invented for. You know that old saying, men marry because they are tired, women because they are curious. Both are disappointed. Well, I am not tired, and I don't think I ever will be. But hey, I aim to please. There's always a fine lady, or two, or a Does dozen. Does this sort of answer what we should have answered for the question? Because he suddenly took going on a huge tangent about women. Maybe? Or a dozen. Who's going to learn all too quickly that their husband is a boring old warty frog? That's where I come in, swooping in, passion bursting like a volcano. I mean, I'm sure you've heard of me. Diego of House Leonor, charmer, fighter, lover. The dashing rogue who leaves no heart unbroken in his wake. Actually, I uh, don't think I have. Oh, oh uh, all right. Let's just say that I may have broken one heart too many. Oh, the heat it caused. That's par for the course, but take it from me. The retreats are always messy. Gotta know when to fold them, no? So let me get this straight. You're here because you're hiding from an angry husband? No, not just any hu husband, a rich one. Now, Kay, can I call you Kay? Don't get hasty, okay? How was I supposed to know? They, uh, they all look the same in the dark, all right? Dude, really? Smooth, man. Hush, Nina. That <laughs> little girl. <laughs> that sounds ridiculously dumb. Uh, oh. He, uh. he actually like... <laughs> here, here. Hey, I learned my lesson all right. No need to rub it in. Ah, well, I can make myself useful. Don't you worry. For example, as a man of passion, I am always ready to offer some red-hot romantic advice. Thanks, but, uh, no thanks. Maybe your sister's no. then? I doubt it. Wait, scratch that. No. No. <laughs> huh. Bummer. So, I think the first answer is woman. Women. And you accidentally found the correct one for the second. Yep. Okay, let's load back. And then we'll have Diego unlocked. I think it gets a mutation. I'm not entirely sure if it's any good, though. Uh, there we go. There are exclamation marks on the castle for whatever reason. I wonder if that was just like a load error or something. Hmm. Or maybe there's things to do. No idea. Hello. Okay, so let's Sweet. let's do that again. 
Yeah, he he just went into a long tangent about women, so. Ah. <laughs> that was probably the longest conversation we've had with the person. Now that I'm thinking about it. That's true. Nah. He had a lot to say. He had a lot of backstory. So women. Yeah. Close enough, I guess. <laughs> ha, ha, friend, you don't know just how close you are. Okay, and then the same thing. Oh. So why does he really? like philandering with married women? That yeah. doesn't make sense. <laughs> Probably just the no. excitement. Yeah. It's like a short tryst, you know. He just reminds me of, oh, who's the guy? Um, it starts with a C. Heath Ledger played the dude, I think. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know enough about Heath Ledger's other films, honestly. I just saw him in The Taming of the Shrew uh, alternate movie okay it's some probably fancy italian or french name ah! okay um so we want diego we want theo and we want signy henrietta if you wanted to use her. And yeah. Alice. Yeah. Well, the thing is, we can't... We don't really want to use Alice until later. I really want to look this or up Or not now. Alice. Uh, I don't want to use Henrietta till later. Oh, really? Well, oh, because I, she doesn't have all of her... Yeah, until she gets her mutation uh, for the extra uh, armor points, she's not that useful. Okay. Can I save here? No. Maybe not. Okay. I think I saved right before this, but I'm going to save again just in case. What I'm going to do is try and go to the quest location first. And see where that forces me to go. And then we'll try again. Okay, so we want Signe, Alice, Theo, Diego, and Henrietta. There we go. Oh! How could I possibly forget Casanova? Of course. Huh? Okay, so where do we walk to? So we walk there, 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 and then there. Okay, oh, and is we this get for a meanwhile. The archive? Except for we don't want to do the meanwhile. No, 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 no. But isn't a Casanova Hold the some press. kind of guy we that now be on Gallivant's about? Yep. Okay, we might actually want to hold off on going out. If we just got a meanwhile for walking... Two, maybe three days. I think the original Casanova may have died of some venereal disease. Oh, probably. Okay. I kind of wish instead of a number, it'd actually show us, like, how close we are to leveling b below each of them. Okay, let's see if we can hang out with Baz and Lilka. Okay. Uh, because if we're about to get a meanwhile, that might give us a quest. Okay, yeah, let's go spend time with Baz and Lilka. Probably should have spent some time with them before they had their days off, but whatever. Okay, and this isn't going to require a save. But yeah, if we get a meanwhile... Isn't going to require a save? No, because we're not actually doing anything with them. We're just hanging out. Oh, okay. Hey, she was singing there. Every day is great at your placeholder. Oh, no, not too terrible. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Well, now we're going to go to the town square, which still looks kind of crappy, though slightly less. Then there's but like then there's Octobot. Octobot. With that weird ultra skinny leg for some reason. <laughs> Your legs are quite trim. But they're shapely. Because they have muscle. There we go. Okay. Speaking Hold of Grandpa. the press. We may now be on to something. Huh? Those sketches Kay and company brought back are becoming more and more fruitful as we speak. Huh? All right. I will talk slowly. Am I getting through? You be sassing me, young lady? Both of you, focus. Remember how I told you about the vault commissioned by Duke Robert? 
Well, that didn't totally come out of left field. After some prodding, the previously silent Estir came through with bountiful information. An anonymous noble sent us an heirloom. An antique script that once belonged to a certain Lauren. Namely, Count Roderick Lauren. I've managed to verify the accuracy of that script. The script is definitely authentic, but the dates presented within don't really fit our currently established patterns. If anything, that means our Count must have lived before Duke Woodrow and Duke Robert. Um, that's nice and all, but... Wait, now's the good part. Apparently, Count Roderick was an obscenely rich man. The script makes it blatantly clear in numerous places. In his final days, he expressed a simple desire to make his life's greatest wealth outlive him. Undisturbed, naturally. So, given what we already know, I ask this. Why would Roderick's successor construct a vault? Wait. Does that mean the treasure exists after all? The treasure vault is real? Exactly. That's great news! Kay will love to hear about this. I've already sent him a letter. A big pile of money waiting to be found. Ha! Now in my days, we had to earn the money through sweat and blood. We were dirt poor and proud of it. Everything's so much dumber now. What's next? Monsters carrying money on themselves? Give me a break, kiddos. I'm sorry, but what the hell? Hmm. What's with him? He's crankier than usual. Stop looking through. You didn't get the whole, like, monsters I, carrying random I did. Random it's money amusing. Reference. But, like, I like to react to those things kind of after the fact. Oh, fine. Aw, don't be mad. He had a really bad day. He had a what? What's worse than being dead? What in the places? The toilet's clogged again? Serious. Why wouldn't you crap yourself, people? Well, that happened. Wait, why does a ghost need to use the toilet? He's bound to the castle? Or he's bound to the toilet now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Horrifying. Okay, so that didn't actually get us anything new or unique, but that's fine. I mean, it had to come out eventually, right? Yeah, from but then, somewhere. But then it would have gone elsewhere. So where does all the, their sewage go to? Griffith. What? <laughs> no. Why would you say that, poor Griffith? Here's the poop night. 